Omakase, this world spread out many different corners of the U.S. Mm -hmm. However, imagine that this world of Omakase 40 years ago, nobody knew it. But now, many people, they understand. My grandmaster, he just say to the customer, if you say, give me this, give me that, instead of that, just trust me. That's why he wrote down in his restaurant, today's special is trust me. That one is our symbol, our policy. We care. This is a, we call the moi. This one is a, like a Hawaii, we call the king's fish. It used to only be eaten by king. But the first I contacted to, to research, to find out the moi, uh, I could get it because uh, like a wild moi is almost gone. We call that this one is a new technique we find. Usually uh, we call the kobujime, means that, uh, kobujime means that we cure by the kelp, usually. But, Japanese uh, Hokkaido kelp is uh, very expensive. So I tried to do something different, but same result of the like, kobujime. So we use uh, today's technology of the <laughs> kelp powder and then uh, kelp liquid yeah, to make the kobujime flavors at the same time. I love everything <laughs> because we flavor it by ourselves. So uh, try. Uh, extract the best flavor from every other fish. So that's why we make a different sauces, different way to prepare, not like a Japanese way we do, because fish, fish characteristic uh, is uh, very different from the, like a Japanese fish. We gotta use something that like uh, our own technique which we develop. First I started, I used to use almost all the fish that from Japan, but started happening that like uh, prices like a uh, skyrocketed because of like international currency rate i cannot say to the customer this one is uh, like a uh, 450 a piece now you charge me a six dollars a piece <laughs> and i cannot say oh because uh, like international currency is changed so i start to foresee at that time oh i gotta stop something you know more affordable but I cannot lower the like, uh, standard of my sushi. My master told me, okay, try to use the Hawaii fish as much as possible. So, of course, it's like uh, right there in the Hawaii oceans. Of course, the fish there. Monday, we don't operate a restaurant, but we have uh, plenty of time. So we do, we try to make a uh, new sauces or a new way of the prep of fish. Monday is uh, like a good experimenting day. This one is uh, like a Hawaii local octopus. And then grated daikon. Slowly, slowly massage like this, all the way, again and again. One tentacle used to take, take us about uh, 45 minutes to massage it. Octopus has uh, like uh, eight legs. So one tentacle, 45 minutes, how long to finish up one octopus? So I just think a lot of things and then, uh, okay, this is a massage shiatsu, so I, try the hand massager. I doubt first, but uh, okay, let me try anyway. I try. And then first day, I got a result, same result. So instead of uh, 45 minutes, now I just cut down to five minutes, one tentacle. See? So eight tentacles is uh, like a uh, 40 minutes, but it used to be a uh, one tentacle, 45 minutes. So V set it and then forget it 24 hours. I focus with my partner how we make it not a chewy octopus. Namigiri means like a weed. The reason is that octopus or those or a squid or a abalone is like a very slippery. So uh, like a kind of grab, like a wave cat. We just focus, and then once they eat it, oh, they are amazed. How come this octopus is not a chewy? I love technology. <laughs> this is a local Hawaii horse mackerel or a jack mackerel. First, we boil it, fresh one, fillet, and make exactly like a Japanese way of serve the aji, you know, jack mackerel. Texture is okay because it's nice and fresh. However, 
taste nothing. So usually Japanese serve with a, like a fresh sashimi, with a, like a, a grilled ginger or maybe green onion on top and the soy sauce, right? But uh, if I do Hawaii aji, oh, customer knows right away. So we gotta think about it. how we make the Hawaii Jack Macro come to the like a uh, level of our sushi. Maybe also this one is a hundred times uh, like a Monday experiment. And then now uh, we found out, okay, so first we cure with uh, like a salt water, then we marinate it in the uh, like herb, homegrown uh, like a uh, rosemary, thyme, olive oil, and then uh, like a uh, garlic olive oil. And then we marinate it in the oil because we try to imagine the uh, like uh, oil sardines to make the uh, like a uh, Hawaii Jack Macro uh, taste like. Yeah, so just we do this way. And many American customers, they say, oh, this tastes like a steak because of rosemary or maybe. So it's nice. We have um, lots of sauce. This is a Maui sweet onion sauce, jalapeno soy sauce, roasted Tokyo green onion. This is a fermented red snapper, we call shiokara. And this is a two type, regular papaya and Hawaiian red jalapeno. This is a homemade yuzu kosho, Mr. Sage's friends make it. So very spicy. <laughs> I don't have a particular hobby anyway. So I don't play golf, or I don't do anything. Just I'm, I'm a sushi man, that's it. But I try to make more like a Hawaii, my own grown, the, like a vegetable and the fruits for my sushi. To harvest it and to bring it to, the, to my restaurant. So for example, like a daikon, Italian basil, thyme, mint, parsley, rosemary, and then the kale. Then tomatoes, some variations, a carrot, potatoes, peppers, lots of fruit trees. Papaya, and then the guava, uh, cherry guava, chico, star fruits, mountain apple. Even I have uh, peach trees which we can grow in Hawaii. Avocado, and then now look at that, lots of flowers for mango trees. Lime, lemon, gigantic coconut trees, which I, which I grow from here to that gigant palm. Like this experiment, I can make a ceviche, I can make lots of experiments because the sushi is the free. It's very nice. I can relax, farming, and enjoy the view. Mm. Have a scotch and cigar, maybe. <laughs> So, Hawaii is a, like a heaven of the tuna. Many people, they don't know. Hawaii is a, so many different types of the tuna. Big eye tuna I'm using, yellowfin tuna, abakua tuna. Many people, they believe the king of tuna is a bluefin. I, even Japanese people say it's the, like a big eye, yellowfin, like a secondary. Don't say that. Yes, bluefin is good, but they are different types. This one is a, a big eye tuna back loins. So this one is a, like a muscle layers, you see? Usually they cut against the grains, right? So, and then yeah. uh, when you see that like a piece of tuna, you see that like a, all the like a white line or grains. So that, that, that the things, but we just peel off this muscle by muscle. So this is uh, no grain, no resistance in your mouth. We call that uh, hagashi means, uh, Japanese means uh, uh, peel off. So we call it hagashi maguro, means uh, like a peel tuna. If you eat this, it's gone. It's melted away because no resistance, right? That's why I use a technique of the very, this one is a, even in Japan is a very rare now because the tuna price is so expensive. We lose a lot of meat if we do that. And then so maybe even today's a young Japanese chef or a, a sushi chef or a sushi man, even they don't know that kind of things. Yeah, so I'm very happy. I learned this kind of technique from my master, grandmaster. Skipjack tuna is a, like a katsuo we call in Hawaii. I know they have a very fresh skipjack in Hawaii in the early in the morning from auction's place to the fish company and then we can pick it up right away. So firm and nice and fresh. However, 
not so much oil. Uh, in Japan, it's like a skipjack, it's oil gonna oozing out and then uh, uh, nice and tender and sweeter. But here, the skip, same skipjack, but we don't have non-oil. So what we're gonna make this one, so we experiment uh, like a um, hundred different ways uh, how to do it. We just start to cold smoke the skipjack tuna. I built our own smokers, just a, a styrofoam box and uh, like a, a Home Depot. We, we can buy <laughs> that, like, that kind of uh, horses and then uh, like uh, we uh, burning the chip, uh, like a uh, hickory and the cherry. So we just get it and then uh, first we wrap with uh, like a special paper to suck up the all the like unnecessary bread. We just slice it, sit them like that and then uh, we ne next day the brilliant red color gonna come out and then that's the time to make it uh, like a cold smoke. Then we, we start the cold smoking process uh, in uh, 25 minutes. Nice flavor, smoky flavor and the freshness is added on on the skipjack. So now we have, but we don't know yet. Maybe we're gonna change later on if we, we can find more or a better way to create uh, like a Hawaii skipjack. 22 years ago when I came to Hawaii, I was uh, still young, so I could do lots of things. Of course, uh, like, I don't retire right away, but you know, time shifting. I don't like to be a grumpy old man. Hawaii king's fish, royal fish, we call them moi. We serve with the uh, ume sauce. My partner and I, he has a lot of idea, I have a lot of idea. We are sometimes that like uh, we do this, no, no, maybe not this and that. Many, many different things. Yeah, this is a freedom of the sushi making. Quite soon, his time gonna be come. Two different type of hikari mono. This one is uh, mixed together. Hawaii jack macro. We call the akure in Hawaii. This one is the toro portion of the tuna. We super freeze it, make it foam. A little spicy, a little sweetness with a, like a sauteed papaya. My grandmaster and then my master and me is a kind of, they are almost retiring once my time comes. You know, I'm older, that's why I'm making sushi now, but uh, that's why the time to be shifted. This is a Hawaii octopus. All soldiers, like me, never die. Just, they just fade away. It's okay. <laughs>